Hi guys, I am going to do a quick um, turkey meatloaf recipe, and this is a recipe that I've made for a long time to trick the guys into eating turkey meatloaf. Um, I call it Greek turkey meatloaf because it's kind of all the different things you'd have in a Greek salad or Greek meal, um, but it's easily changeable to make it Italian or Mexican, um, and I'll kind of talk about some of the swaps, and a lot of times I'll make two, I'll cook them, and then I'll pop... Um, one in the freezer after it's cool that it freezes well and it's ready to go. Um, this is just, it's just me and my husband tonight, so I'm going to do um, just a one pound turkey. Um, so this is, again, you can play with it, but much neater, much less messy than my last recipe. Um, and it's yummy. So I'm going to show you the ingredients, I'll put it together, and then I'll show you the results. And I will... Um, put it all into my fitness pal and come up with the um, nutrition stats and put that in the link below. Okay. So, here we have the ingredients. We have one pound of the um, Genio 93% lean turkey. And I just happen to have fresh parsley, but you could use dried. I've got some red onion. I've got some pepperoncini. I've got some frozen spinach. I have got salt, oregano, and ground black pepper, and this is about a teaspoon of both. This is fat-free feta chunked up. This is just pre-cut garlic in a jar, and then um, cherry tomatoes that I halved. And then I've got an egg, and just a third of a cup of breadcrumbs to kind of hold it together. So again, these are sort of Greek flavors. If you wanted to make it Mexican, you could um, add in some jalapeno peppers, you could um, add in queso fresco or cheddar jack, um, again very similar flavors, you could add some taco seasoning, um, you could skip the spinach. Now because I've got the spinach in there, like one slice of this will be my whole meal. I've got my veggie, my fiber, everything. My husband, I'll just make him some a starch of something, I don't know what yet, but you know, a baked potato, mashed potato, whatever. Um, if you wanted to make it Italian, you could um, add the parsley and turn this into mozzarella. Um, and again, very similar flavors. So it's very easy to adapt. Oh, in the Mexican, you could add beans, corn, um, kind of whatever you want. It's going to be like a really, you know, studded meatloaf. Because again, turkey meatloaf is kind of like, blah. It's not meatloaf meatloaf. So if you're going to make it different, make it totally different. So I'm going to dump um, all of this in with my meat my egg and my breadcrumbs, and then I will show you what it looks like before it goes in the pan and then when it's done cooking. So the magic of TV, here it comes. Okay, so here it is in the pan. As you can see, um, it fills your standard loaf pan, and it looks good. It just looks festive and whatever. Um, I think, did I forget to mention the red onion? You can use whatever color onion you want, but I like the red onion. So I'm gonna do this, I think, probably 350 for 40, 45 minutes. Um, and there probably will be a good amount of liquid um, that comes up because of all the fresh veggies and stuff that are in it. So you just pour that off, let it cool, and then you're good to go. So I will show you um, the finished product. Okay guys, here's the finished product. So you can see that there was quite a bit of shrinkage um, around the edges and that did fill up with liquid and I poured it off and then I just threw it under the broiler for a couple of seconds to kind of brown it up a little bit and dry it up. So again, this is a standard loaf pan, so I would probably cut this into six um, for a weight loss patient. Uh, so that you're getting a sixth of a pound of the ground turkey. And for a regular family, probably four. So, but like I said, it's just my husband and myself. Um, so that will go quite a way. Um, enjoy. Tell me what you think about the recipe. Um, I'm loving the recipe videos. If you've got one, I can't wait to see it. And um, we'll talk to you soon. All right. So I had to go ahead and cut up a piece of this and you can see looks pretty good. We got all the feta, the tomatoes, the spinach, and everything in there. Um, and again, that's the size of the piece that I took. So that would be about six. Um, so I'm going to have some dinner and enjoy. Bye.